see what we're doing? We're taking that ring, right? Taking that ring and putting it inside this pipe because it was like this. Man, that thing's warped, right? From all the weight of other things sitting on top of it, it, it bended and it warped, right? And now how do we get that back to that? That right there by itself, left alone, can never go back to that. It needs another force introduced into the situation, right? So we take a ring, Adam here, my bro, takes a ring, and we have to push that thing inside here, right? And once we finally manage to get that ring, see? Look, the two sides don't match up right away, right? Look, that perfect ring next to that warped pipe, right? But we got to manage, see, to get it in there. Now, this is what the Holy Spirit was showing us. And Adam's going to help me deliver this word. This is us before the Lord. This is our ways. This is our thinking. It's warped. It's corrupted. It's destructed. It's wrong. It's wicked. It's evil. Left alone by ourselves, we can never become that. But God has to put something inside of us. A force that pushes from the inside out to straighten us back to the ways God wants us. What is that? That is the Holy Spirit from the inside out that God puts in us to help correct us. And you have to leave it in the sun because if we take it out right now, it'll still be warped, right? But after it sits in the light of the sun, S-U-N, we sit in the light of the sun, S-O-N, and sit under the teaching of the word, under the conviction of the holy spirit then after a while we'll begin to take shape but adam here has something even more beautiful with the ring which symbolizes what bro the covenant with god covenant with god you know when we accept him when we receive that holy spirit that's when it starts working inside of us but we got to stay we got to be married to Come it on. we got to be devoted to Come it on. we got to stay in his presence and that relationship gets stronger and stronger Come on. so these rings when we put it in there, it starts to take its shape. Come it on. starts to take its form. That's the same thing with us. Once we receive Christ, it starts working on the inside. Take the form That's of Christ. That's how the breakthroughs happen. That's how our relationship grows. That's how we receive everything that he has for us. Man, and, and when we put that thing in there, the pipe begins to take the form of the ring, right? When the Holy Spirit is in us, we begin to take the form of Christ. Not a form of godliness, but transformed into the ways of Christ. But it ain't easy when we put that thing in there, right? No, what do not. we gotta do? It takes we, a while, we it takes gotta, a lot of work. We gotta beat on it, we gotta hit it. Let me tell you, when, when Christ puts his spirit in you, it's not easy. It don't feel good. He got to cut away some things, he got to purge some things. But if you're willing to sit under him, and let him put his spirit in you. He could take you from this. A person who was warped in his ways. Corrupted and destroyed. And people say there's no hope for that. But see we can still salvage it. We can sell it. Right if we put that ring in there. Right. But remember. We can't do it alone. Can't do it alone. We need fellowship. Come on. We need to stick with the body of Christ. Because by myself. I cannot put this ring in. I can receive him. But I need help. I need encouragement. I need somebody to give me a hand. Come so on. let that pride go and let somebody help you. Help you with your walk. You know what I'm saying? Get into God's word. Have fellowship. Come on. Because that's how you grow and that's how things begin to take its shape. He's right. It takes two of us. I had to help him. And even with even with us two, we still couldn't do it on our own. We have to have the right tools. Right? Even if you have two, three brothers, you still got to have the right tools, which is the word of God. Word of God and the Lord. The, the prayer. Come on. With that being said, we got to go. God can turn you from that into that. But he, you got to be willing to let him put his spirit inside you. The, the you perfect cycle. To, sometimes, you know, you got to take a beating through it. Come on. But you know what? It'll all be worth it. It'll be worth it. Never give up. In Jesus' name.